What's up everyone? I'm gonna try to do a little privy dig here. So I'll let you know what I find. Alright, first find of the day. What is this? Plastic. Okay, the cistern was a dud. Nothing in it. Not even something common. But anyway, I got something showing here. So hope it's good. I may make up for it the day being kind of bad. I can't tell how old that is. Okay, well, it might be old. Really? It's a common cat set, I think. That's a shame. I'm starting a hole in the dump section, so should get some bottles if I may get through this layer here. This layer is thicker and harder than I realized. So already broke a tool. Because this stuff is like cement. Okay, I got into the ash and I seen my first bottle already, so it's one of them big green line blob things. It's all there. Figured it'd be. Alright, well, at least it'll clean up nice. Okay, we got a couple more showing up high as I'm breaking this apart. This one's an applied top wine, probably. Yep. Yeah, you see that crude applied top? Yeah, it's just some slick wine thing. Now this one here is a tooled crown top, so that could be a nice local soda of some kind. Fritz and S. W Company, Covington, Kentucky. Alright, well, go for it. Hey, see a pharmacy here. Oh, it's got a big chip. Well, what is it? AJ Doreen Pharmacist. One nine nine Pike Street, Covington, Kentucky. That's a shame on that chip. I think I did that too. Got something else showing here. Oh, Hall's Balsam for the lungs. New York. John F. Henry and Company. Huh. Well, it's got a nice looking panel. Got something down in this little corner here. Hopefully, an ice and balls drug us or something. In this area, it seems like about half are embossed, so I mean, this one's probably a slick, but you never know. Yep, it's a slick. Alright. Something right on my feet here. Looks like a bigger. Weed man. Okay, got a couple more showing here. This looks like something that's not going to be anything, so I'll go ahead and film it first. It's kind of 
has a slick look to it. Too small to be a soda, so probably something that was already cracked and broken. Anyway, something underneath here. Okay. Broken teacup. All right, now for the one that looks like it might be better. If it's even whole. So it looks kind of like an olive oil now. My hopes was higher because I had a different looking top than they usually do, but it's definitely an olive oil. There it is. Flipped a large shovel pull out, so I didn't even see this one. But I'm going to see what it is now. Could be a one of them Munions Paw Paw Remedies or whatever. Oh yeah, that's what that is. Yep, Munions Paw Paw. All right. Well, that's the best bottle of the day so far. Okay, I've been looking at these for a little bit, so I think I'm going to dig them out. This is probably going to be a big slick amber, or not amber, a uh, green whiskey, and then I got a crown top show on the crown top. I have no idea. I'll make a couple guesses, but that's after I get this one out. So yeah, big slick whiskey, English made probably. Or it could be one of those Dr. J.D. No, it's not one because it would be embossed on the shoulder if that's what it was. Well, eh, I'll probably take it home. Could be 1890s. Looks like it's all bubbly, which makes it more desirable to collectors, even if it is a slick. Okay, now I'll see the crown top. So, I can't even tell what color this is. Looks like aqua. So, Bavarian Brewing Company or Christian Moorline Brewing Company or Foss Schneider Brewing Company. Those are a few guesses. Most of the beers out here are amber, but there's a good chance of multiple aqua ones, too. It is. Oh, it could be a slick, too. Forgot about that option. Wow, it's machine-made. That's not a good sign. I was kind of hoping this was older. But no, it's just a slick machine-made beer. Huh. Interesting. Okay. I just dug out a melted pill bottle. That was cobalt, and of course, of all the bottles that had to be melted, but here's something dirty. Could be cobalt. Oh my gosh. Is that a cobalt pharmacy? C.A. Zwick, Apothecary, Covington, Kentucky. I mean, let me see. Oh my gosh, it, I think it is. Yeah, it has to be. It can't be dirt or paint, could it? I just want to make sure. Yeah, that, that has to be cobalt. That cannot be just paint. <laughs> I cannot believe it. If this is... I mean, I just got to wash it to make sure, but I'm pretty sure this is cobalt because I'm still not sure if this is just bluing or something blue inside or if it is indeed cobalt. If that's cobalt, then that's the best find of the day. But I think it is cobalt. That is amazing. If it is, I will keep you guys posted. Okay, got a pharmacy showing. I don't know if it's embossed, but find out. Nope, it's a slick. The ones I spot first in the wall before they're twist out and loose dirt always slick but when they're embossed it seems like 
I already have them flipped out of the dirt for some reason. Our weedman showing down there. Okay, hoping I can get into some goodies before I head out. Got a couple bottles showing them here, I think. One's clearly a baby bottle, others kind of a junkier shoe polish thing. Yeah. What the baby I wonder if that's whole. Yep. Oh, ah, it's broken. Okay, well, I'm hoping this one here is whole because this looks like it could be a hutch or something. I haven't got a hutch today yet, so maybe it'll be one if it's whole. But no, it couldn't be whole for me. It had to be broken. See right there. Oh, well. Okay, I got something showing here. This hole seems kind of sparse to me. Anyway, I hope it's a nice embossed blob or something cool. That's a hutch. Oh, okay. I only got one of these for the day. Lewis Fritz and Company, Covington, Kentucky. All right. I'm gonna have to start caving tonight because I got a long drive back home. Anyway, I got a hutch here. Ah, oh, it's the different one, I think. Oh, okay, it's, it is, but it isn't the same company, but uh, different variant. Lewis Fritz, Covington, Kentucky. All right, well, this one looks to be in good shape, because the other one had some lip damage. All right, it's Keeper. They flipped out something with a ground lip, I think. Oh, it's a nice green bottle of something. Lactopeptine. Digestive something. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, it's all there too. And it's a keeper. Got a couple more showing here. First one looks like crown dressing or some kind of shoe polish bottle. Acme shoe dressing, okay. That makes sense. But this other one here is a hutch, so that's a lot more exciting to me. Okay, well... The top looks a little bit different, so that might mean it's a different one than I've had today. But you never know. Oh, it is, I think. Oh, it's got big crack, though, of course. Oh, how about Ling Cincinnati? But yeah, look at that. That has some severe damage. But still a hutch. If anything, I could put it for two dollars or something. My teak wall booth. Okay, I see something that looks like it may be worth filming. Bitters looking bottle here. So the top on this is smaller. Which makes me want to say electric bitters. But it's a larger sized electric bitters if that's what it is. Assuming it's even whole because there's a good chance it could be broken, since there's a bottle right next to it. It's broken. And it clues the something. Okay, so it could be electric brand, I guess. Electric brand, I don't know. I know it's not Hostetters, which has a smaller top anyway. Oh, I don't want to jerk early because then that might break it if it this whole and even if it does have a crack or something a, a cracked rare bitters is better than no bitters at all that's different 
I can't remember if my lie shows how to look like this or not. Because it could be a lie shows too, I guess. There it comes. Okay. Lie shows maybe. The best cathartic for blood purifying. Yeah, it's a lie shows. Alright, here's the rest of the creek walking finds cleaned up. That didn't clean up last time. Got a sprite ball from 1970s. A couple neck embossed Pepsis. Old Mr. Cola. Followed by the Great Bet Company, Camden, Arkansas. I guess those are pretty common because I saw a bunch on eBay. That's the first one I remember finding. Tooled. Larkin Company. Star Mineral Water Works out of Athens, Ohio. Then I believe this is a Coca-Cola product bottle from Athens, Ohio. I haven't seen too many of them around, but they're out there. Tooled. Uh, hair bottle, probably. Or sample whiskey. So that's the first bottle from the dig. Then got a couple pottery things. That would have had a lid. Creamer. Slick mineral water. Slick wine. Slick whiskey. Slick SB&G company made beer. One of these common mineral water things. Weedman, John Brenner, out of Covington, Kentucky. Here's a crier brought home. Beautiful color, open panel. One of these lids for a condiment jar. Consolidated fruit jar insert. Chattanooga Medicine Company bottle. Probably the only Tennessee bottle I find that's hard to get even $10 out of, plus shipping online. California fig syrup. San Francisco, Louisville, Kentucky. Acme shoe polish. King's New Discovery. Davis vegetable painkiller. Common insulator. Scott's emulsion. Good color. This one's kind of nice. Has a real fancy panel. All balsam for the lungs. John F. Henry, New York. A nice looking Maltine manufacturing from New York. H. Ayler. Covington, Kentucky. I actually have the Dragas that goes with it. And these two I went ahead and just threw them on eBay. They're damaged pretty bad. AJ Doreen Pharmacist, 199 Pike Street, Covington. And Geo Massman Pharmacist, Covington. It has that hole, and another one's pretty much the opposite corner. has massive lip damage. See, that's the room has a lot for like 25 or something. I mean, pharmacists usually are pretty hard to get at that particular location. They turn up a lot more, though, so they're not quite as good, but still uncommon ones to a serious collector would be worth a little something. Not a whole lot, but... Yeah, they may still be there by the time the video gets out, or they may not be. Who knows? I'm posting this late because I ain't trying to turn people on the location where it gets dug out. Since a couple guys were nice enough to show me the location. And these last three here are a really colorful trio. Worthington's Pharmacist Cincinnati. That was one I didn't get.
get in the video because it was when I flipped out and it was getting near the end today. Beautiful colored square pharmacist. And then this other one here is not local, but I think I'm going to keep it unless I already have one, which I can't remember if I do or not. So I'll keep it until then. For screw top, it's a really nice one. Lactopeptine digestive ailments. Try to put it to where I can see the color good. Or you can. It's a nice one. And then this one is the uh, best bottle of a dig. And yes, it is cobalt. G.A. Zwick, Apothecary, Covington, Kentucky. But after I looked it over, I found it had a bruise there, but it's not the end of the world, though. I mean, it's still a colored pharmacist, so it's a really good one, I think. Even if it is from a town that produced a ton of embossed pharmacy bottles and apothecary bottles. So that alone made it worth it to me. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Later.